Today we are going to find out what 50 ringgit can get you in Kuala Lumpur, Chinatown. Yeah. Okay guys, first I had to make a quick stop at the mall to exchange some money because I just got here yesterday and I also need to get a SIM card, hopefully. Okay guys, got my phone and got my money. We're ready to go. Honestly, Malaysian ringgit is one of the prettiest currencies I've ever seen in my life. It's like so nice, so colorful. It's like a little bit like plasticky so it doesn't get like all folded up and nasty. It's pretty cool. And then for my SIM card, I paid 50 ringgit. That's the minimum amount you can possibly pay. And the package you get, unlimited calls and texting for a month and unlimited data. It's pretty sweet. Just arrived, let's take a look around. Well guys, I honestly wasn't that impressed with the soy milk here. Not very sweet. It wasn't actually that bad. It's not my favorite. And there's not as much food and stuff here as I thought there was going to be. got done with the meal. It was absolutely delicious. I have been very impressed with all of the Chinese food here in Malaysia so far. You know, I thought it was gonna be more like Indonesia than it is. The uh, Chinese food in Indonesia, for the most part, is not that great. But the Chinese food here tastes exactly like it does in China. And so now, I'm gonna go try to find something sweet, hopefully, and uh, head back home. Allowed to go in here? Can I look? Do one of the lotus. The salty Are you closing already? Yeah, we <laughs> open uh, morning. Mm. Uh, eight and dinner. Do most places around here close around uh, now? Actually, something like that. <laughs> okay. Already closed. Uh, just now, just left the shirt like that. Uh -huh. The shirt, the survivor, or the keychain. They stay the up late. Like yeah. Okay. 
I know, because I was confused because I thought it would be more busy at night. But uh, here, here no. no. <laughs> Busier in the morning or uh, in the, the afternoon? Afternoon like that. Well, got 12 or oh, oh, it's open right? So for and for you, thank you. Awesome. So if you want the more things or you want to see the more, uh, maybe 12 like that. Huh? Afternoon 12 like that. Okay, around 12. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's open one. The food also, the shirt also. Okay. Uh. Sounds good. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. Oh. Do you have like a normal ice cream cone? We'll do one big one. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Thank you. Pretty good. Try some food. So first, we got. How do you open this? Five hours later. Well, maybe we need some scissors. Try this one instead. So first, we got this guy. I think I've had something similar to this before. My parents always buy it from like Asian markets and stuff, but it looks a little bit different and it's like supposed to be crunchier. I don't know, we'll try it and see how it is. It's all right. It does taste pretty similar to the ones that I've had before. This one doesn't seem as sweet. And it's definitely harder, which I don't think I like. The softer ones are nicer, I think. It's pretty good. Now I need to go get some scissors. Ugh. Got scissors. Ow! Ooh. That's still not open. Dang it! Okay, here we go. So we got this guy. Pretty cool. And she said it was filled with lotus. See how it is? It's not a ton of filling. It's not terrible. Mostly just tastes like the bread and it's a little bit dry. It's pretty good. I'll definitely finish eating all of them. So honestly, I wasn't that impressed with the Kuala Lumpur Chinatown. First, there wasn't that many food options, which is like pretty typical, I feel like, of Chinese markets. Like if you go to like Chinatown San Francisco, half of it is food. And also the other half is usually all these different kinds of trinkets and different like more Chinese paintings. But like this one was more like a flea market. It's like one of those flea markets where everyone's selling like the same things. And so everyone has the same knockoff Gucci purses, the same knockoff Yeezys. And then the place the place that I got food at was actually really good. It was on the side of like where the main street is. The treats were just all right. Wasn't like the biggest fan. I think the food that's right here close to my house at this like little Chinese market is better. And I actually ended up spending 57 ringgit and 30 cents, not including transportation. So if you include my two grab rides to the train station and my grab ride home from the train station, that's an extra 30 ringgit. And then I actually have a deal where I got two free days of using the Metro anywhere I want to go but I think normally that would have cost $3.50 each way. So in total for 57 ringgit I got soy milk, lamian and dumplings, ice cream, and these two snacks for just about 12 US dollars. And that's it. If you like this video please subscribe so you don't miss my next adventures in Malaysia.